friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Happy Friday, it's Friday so it's weigh-in day, WW Workshop Topic Day. I'm going to share with you how my week went and we'll set some goals moving into next week. So if you're excited for another Friday weigh-in video, give this one a big huge thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, of course I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Check out that description box down below for my 2022 calendar. We have just a few left. So if you haven't picked this up for yourself or as a gift, grab it before it's gone. It is such a great way to track your life, track your goals, weight, water, food, self-care, and activity all in one quick, simple place. So definitely grab your calendar before they're gone. You're also going to find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros and calories and one-on-one -on -one coaching, as well as links and discounts to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. We'd love to have you come and join us over there. I have lots and lots and lots to share with you. So let's go ahead and jump in to this week's weigh-in, workshop topic recap, setting some goals for next week, and a recap of how my week went. absolutely wonderful, wonderful week. I cannot believe it's almost Christmas. That is so crazy how fast the month of December has flown by. It is literally flown by, which is always a bummer because the holidays are my favorite time of year and I just feel like they fly by, like it drags getting to the holidays and then the holidays themselves just fly by. But I've really been enjoying all the holiday decorations, doing some fun holiday things. I'm actually going to sit down and wrap some presents today, which always puts me in the holiday spirit. I turn on Christmas music and I break out the presents and the wrapping paper and the bows. Such a fun part of the holidays. I've been busy with real estate. I actually have two new sets of clients that were just kind of dropped in my lap over the last couple of weeks. Luckily, we've already found them houses and we're just in the process of getting to the closing table. So that's been great. I've been busy with YouTube, planning my year-end content as well as what to expect on my channel moving into next year. As you know, I've been dealing with some health issues and lining that up and getting everything into place for that and to start taking my medication in January. It's been going really, really well. I'll definitely share an update with you guys in another What I Eat in a Day video on kind of how things are going, but it's been going well and I've had quite a few epiphanies since starting this different way of eating and just this different lifestyle overall. Jazzercise has been great. My food, of course, has been great because it has to be and also because I'm really enjoying the real whole foods. Seriously, really enjoying them. Not because I have to necessarily, but because I'm just feeling full and satisfied and content with the foods that I'm eating. But before we jump into this week's weigh-in, I want to chat with you guys a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic. And that is getting together. Here's how to stay on track. This couldn't come at a better time because we all get together over the holidays and we wonder, should we track? Should we stay on track? Should we throw in the towel over the holidays? So here's some tips from WW on how to stay on track and still enjoy the family events. There's three really simple tips, really simple things that you can do when you're planning to attend a family event or a holiday party. Number one is to imagine the upcoming meal or event. Think about what could make it hard for you to stay on track at that event. Is it that there's only certain foods offered and maybe those foods don't fall within what you would generally eat on your weight loss journey or maybe there's going to be adult libations that you'll go that you're going to want to partake in and also what can you do to make sure that you're making good choices that means enjoying the party the event the food the drinks but what can you do to make the better choice at that said event and tip number two is to choose a strategy once you've imagined what that's going to look like the event itself in the food, it's time to set yourself up for success by creating a strategy. Think about the potential hurdles that you may face and use some of these tips and tricks to get over those hurdles at that party. The first thing you can do is save up your points, pile up your points, use your weeklies, 
points, your activity points, any rollover points that you have, save those up for that special meal or event so that you can go and enjoy yourself and not worry about food the whole time. Nothing is more disappointing than going to an event and not even being able to enjoy it because all you're thinking is about is the foods that you're eating and is it in your plan? Is it in your points, your calories? So save up so that you can enjoy yourself without only thinking about food at the event. Focus on your zero point foods during the day so that you have the points available to you for that meal. The second tip, you can mentally order ahead. Generally, we know or partially know what may be served at a meal or an event, and we can kind of plan ahead for what we're going to enjoy. If it's an event that's just drinks and appetizers, we know that we can have a few appetizers for our points or calories because generally they're less in points and calories than meals. We may look up our favorite adult beverage so that we can plan to have one or two of those at the party as well. And lastly, bring in balance. Everything is all about moderation and balance. Reserve your points to spend on something extra special. Maybe you anticipate there being a really good dessert at that party and you wanna save your calories and points so that you can indulge in that dessert. And while you're there, select the other options that are given to you that are a little less points or maybe even fall on the zero point food list. And tip number three is to spring into action. Come up with a plan, how, when, where, why, how are you going to use the strategy that you had developed from step two? There's also some really easy things you can do at the party or event that will help you stay on track. Number one is step up to the plate and be the first one to order. That way you're not enticed by what everyone else is ordering. You've already made a decision on what you're going to have and you've been the first one to order. So your order's in and it's done. Eye up your portions, choose a smaller plate, especially if it's a buffet style event, so that you can only fit so much on your plate. And on the flip side, your mind is going to feel good that your plate is full, even though it's a smaller plate. So if they have appetizer plates or salad plates, use that for your food instead of a full-size dinner plate. And lastly is savor the experience. Eat slowly, really savor and enjoy the foods that you're consuming. If you're if you're going to have one adult beverage, make sure that you sip on that with water or another beverage, zero point beverage throughout the night and really enjoy that one beverage or those foods that you have set yourself up for for that party. We don't wanna say no to every holiday event or party because we're on a weight loss journey. We just need to plan ahead, follow some of these simple tips and tricks from WW and we should still be able to really enjoy the party, engage in conversation, be in the moment because we're not thinking about food the entire time. And the reality of the situation is if you overeat or you overindulge at one holiday dinner or holiday party, it's not going to derail your weight loss. Put a plan into action. Do your best to stick with it step by step. Follow what you planned ahead. And in the event that you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up. One dinner, one party, one meal isn't going to make a difference in your overall weight loss success. I really like this topic and I think it comes at the absolute perfect time considering that we're so close to the holidays. I know that I've been invited to a couple of holiday events that I've had to try to navigate before I got there as well as while I was there and I stuck to what I told myself that I was going to stick with and I enjoyed the event. I didn't think about the food. I went to my cocktail party for my real estate office and I planned ahead what appetizers and how many I was going to have that I wasn't going to have any adult beverages. I was going to stick with zero point options and it just really helped me be in the moment and enjoy the event. Even though these parties are around food, that's not the only reason that we have the holidays or the parties. Really enjoy your friends and family and enjoy the conversation and enjoy your food even if it means you go a little over your points or calories. Now that we have our holidays planned, let's go ahead and jump into this week's weigh-in. So I officially started my new way of eating. If you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, I did an entire sit-down little portion in last week's What I Eat in a Day video where I shared with you the reasons why I'm making these dietary changes. I will link that video down below for you so it makes sense, kind of what I talk about moving forward. But this was really the first week where those changes came into effect. And honestly, it was easier than I thought that it would be. I actually really enjoyed the foods that I was eating. I felt full, I felt satisfied. I didn't feel like I was missing out, even though I'm not eating really any refined carbohydrates, sugars, high fat, high sugar things. I really didn't feel like I was missing out. I was really satisfied with the foods that I was eating. And the really good news is the scale has become a much closer friend of mine. When I stepped on the scale, I'm down one 
0.6 pounds. That's the most I've lost in a week in a while. One and a half pounds is absolutely amazing. And I'm not even on my thyroid medication yet. This is just based on dietary changes, which is absolutely super, super exciting. I'm officially down 76.9 pounds, which is basically 77 pounds. And I anticipate to see lots of more success on the scale moving into the new year. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? Let me know what you think about pre-planning, pre-strategizing before holiday parties and events. And if you've been to some events, how did you navigate it? Let us all know down below. We can all use the tips, that's for sure. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell right next to it so you never miss a single video. Again, check out the description box down below for my calendar, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget, we'd love to have you join us on Facebook as well. Happy Friday, friends. Happy weekend. And I'll see you all in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.